on your marks. Get set with a mic, it's quite difficult. Go! Welcome to the warm-up area, an area you don't often see on TV, an area you don't get to see if you're in the crowd. But however, this is a really crucial part of the sport. It's where you get into the brain of your opponent, the psyche. You don't just physically warm up, you mentally warm up and you get yourself ready for one of the biggest competitions of your life. Next up, however, it's the call room. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks fairly ordinary, but just imagine nine of the greatest athletes on planet Earth that are in your event are sat shoulder to shoulder. So question, how do you conduct yourself? Do you keep yourself quiet? Do you stay in your own head? Or do you let everyone else here know what you're about, that you are about to be crowned world champion? Do you have arrogance? Are you nervous? Do you have bravado? Do you want to play mind games and actually make them think that you are nervous when you're not? There's so much that goes on. Here in the call room, looks like just a few ordinary wooden seats, but actually it can be won and lost right here. But for us, it's time to get to the business end, the track. And by the way, this stadium is off the charts. Does it get much better than this? Look at that. So there'll be a floor manager stood here that will go Q. The athlete will come out here and they're gonna walk this way. As they're walking this way, they're gonna be historical champions on all of these screens. The crowd are gonna be going absolutely crazy. And if you're thinking, crowd, what crowd? Feast your eyes on this stadium, the National Athletic Center. Look at it, 30,000 seater. It's gonna be a sellout. 49 disciplines, by the way, over nine days. The best athletes on planet Earth, all doing battle. And look at it, we're gonna to touch it. Let's touch the track. Oh yes, oh yes, this is where it all happens. Now, in terms of the 100 meters, they'll be starting here. The 110 hurdles will start a little bit further back there. The blocks are being laid out. Now the blocks, do you know what? In fact, come this way. Because the blocks are fascinating. They're wired and they've got four sensors. So as the athletes get into their blocks, they go in. Now, once they're locked in, the moment any force goes through, that triggers them. 0.01 seconds, is that right? No, 0.1 seconds is the exact amount of time you can react. So that's, if you like, 100 thousandths of a second. If you happen to react to the gun with 99 thousandths of a second, that's a false start. And that sadly means Good night, Vienna. So imagine coming all the way here, false starting once, and your championships are over. It happened to Usain Bolt in 2011, the favorite in this event, in the 100 meters. He went out and who won it? But Johan Blake, look at this stadium, by the way. The sun is shining. We are gonna see some incredible performances here. Dare I say, I'm gonna chuck it out there, world records. I think we'll see not one, but maybe multiple world records set here, which doesn't always happen. In the men's shot put, by the way, that was a world record, which until two years ago had stood for almost 30 years. So these are not easy world records. These aren't world records that just get broken every year, regardless of the year. This is gonna be a special championships and it's all gonna happen in the track right here. We are now painfully close to the finish line. The lactic that will be coursing through many of the 400, the 800, the 15, the 5,000, the 10,000, the race walkers, the steeplechase, and everything in between is off the charts. Look at here, we've got press going on. There's an awful lot of stuff taking place. That's the Belgian team. They're getting ready and ready to go. People putting their final preparations. They come out here the day before the championships just to drink in the atmosphere and see what it will be like on the actual day. That day is tomorrow, which is Saturday day one of the championships. This is the biggest sports event Hungary has ever hosted. Everyone here is pumped, they're smiley, they want it to happen, they want it to be unforgettable. This is gonna be epic. And just because we can, we thought we'd come into the field. The grass, which by the way, feels almost like a golfer's green. It is as smooth as you like. Now very shortly, we're gonna be seeing this grass basically get ruined because there are gonna be spears going into it, javelin. There are going to be balls landing on it, hammer and shot put. There are going to be discuses landing, essentially discs. All sorts of things which will be happening. We've got high jump taking place there. A lot of the throws events will be happening there in terms of hammer, discus, and then over the other side is where the shot put will be taking place, the pole vault as well, and let's see if we can sight the steeple chase. So you'll have a steeple that will be on the track, and then a steeple that will go into water. That is on the other side. Roughly, if you can see where it says Budapest or UDB 
Budapesten, slightly beneath there onto the track, that's where the water part of the steeplechase jump is. There is so much happening, 49 disciplines, and it all happens in this amazing stadium. I can't wait. And where best to end than in front of the world's media, the place that will be narrating all of the stories as the drama unfolds, which invariably it will do. We've got all of our cameras there for the print media. We've got all the TV and radio happening there. It is going to be something special. Over 200 nations represented here. It's going to be unforgettable. It's going to be historic. It's going to be meteoric. The World Athletics Championships 2023. Whatever you do, don't miss it. Right here on Eurosport Discovery Plus.